What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage and now we're going to be doing some upgrades to the suspension on our Honda Talon. So Super ATV has some Rhino 2.0 CV axles. These are four millimeter bigger shafts than the stock Talon ones and they're end to end chrome ollie. So they're going to be a crazy amount stronger than our factory CV axles. And Talon's already known for having really strong CV axles. So I can't imagine the life we're going to get out of having these Rhino 2.0s. Uh, super ATV has a ton of parts. They make a lot of their parts here in the United States and we're super pumped to be using them on the Talon build. These suspension parts, what they're going to do is give us longevity, strength, and also clearance. When we took this thing to Windrock, you can see the ground clearance uh, minus the flat front tire. Well, that was actually holding a little bit air. <laughs> but we banged this thing. It's got triple plugs right there. It comes with 28 inch tires, which of course are undersized for this size vehicle and it being a four seater, we need to do some springs so it sits lower than you'd want. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is some high clearance radius arms. You can see the lower arm is bridged, so you're gaining a ton of ground clearance uh, with these, which is a very important thing when you're out on the trail. You definitely don't wanna bend a radius arm and have your tire walking sideways. So Super ATV has these box uh, radius arms. They have chrome ollie uh, himes in each end we're super pumped to put these on this is a really quick installation just basic hand tools is all you're going to need to install this like i said it's going to give us higher ground clearance and as well as more strength uh, to go with these this is kind of a two-part episode we're going to do the rear in this video next video will be the front suspension upgrades with the a a arm cv axles and stuff up front but we're also going to be doing these 14 inch system 3 bead locks with super atv's 32 inch tires that's where we're gonna get the niceness. We're gonna have the strength of these parts, big old fat daddy tires, so super pumped. I've been waiting. This is what I wanna do right off the bat as soon as I get my talon, but you know, I just had to work through the process. So I'm gonna get this thing on our bin pack lift, lift it up off the ground, do that rear suspension, show you just how easy it is. So let's get to it. So massive shout out to Ben Pat for sending out these quick jack setup. This is an awesome setup because before I didn't have a jack that would lift this thing this high. And this thing has so much downward travel, you about have to have something like this to get it up off the ground or a two post lift, which is coming. So massive shout out to Ben Pat for sending out this quick jack setup. They're a supporter of the channel and they make awesome products. You can check out their links in the video description. They'll be in every video from now on. Uh, so check them out. and support the companies that help support your boy getting us off the ground well we're still gonna be on the ground but you want to make sure she's stable and seems stable to me let's hammer her down we did some damage to this thing at Winrock. i'm telling you we was on stuff we shouldn't have been on and these tires are super soft tires i don't know if you can tell how easy you can press in those knobbies and there's not a lot of sidewall so that's why we're going to the super atv 32s and we went one inch smaller rim because I, I like more sidewall to protect stuff like this. Uh, but we'll use these. We're going to put a set of street tires on these uh, after these tires wear out because we're going to use these for road use because we drive this puppy like a daily driver. It's more expensive than my truck. So with the new Rhino 2.0 axle, our clip on our CV axle, we're gonna point it down. So making sure the opening is pointed down. There we go. And another thing is these Rhino 2.0s have way more articulation than the factory CVs. Our new CV axle comes with a new castle nut and washer. Put that on. So 
So if we set these side by side, you can tell, I mean, just there's no comparison between the two. This is a casted heim joint, so significantly weaker than a chromoly style. Like these are, this weighs absolutely nothing. You can see where I made contact with rocks and stuff with this. So this was the lower one too. So that's what we're talking about, the lift difference. I mean, that's gaining me several inches of ground clearance right out of the box. Like that's huge. And the quality of these joints compared to the chrome ollie heim joints is just, there's no comparison between the two. So now the instructions will come with this. Uh, we'll tell you the measurements to get center to center. So we're gonna have to adjust these out. Then we can slap them right back on. Let's just do everything in reverse. This, I mean, took like 20 minutes. Been packed, been a lifesaver, and Super AT TV is gonna be a bank account saver in the future because these things are nothing. So we're gonna adjust this out to 19 inches center to center the best you can. And then on the, uh, the lower ones, we're gonna do 20 and three grapes, which is three eighths in our garage. Um, 20 and a half would be 20 in a draft. He may makes custom measuring tapes, Hollage Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I always start at one because I can minus the one inch and get a better measurement. Hope that makes sense. So we're at 19 and an eight. I like how Super ATV builds these with a lot of thread in the shaft. Um, she said, that looks to me, can go a hair bit more. Let's go a full turn. And again, I'm minusing one because I always start my measurement at one. There we go. We're at 19. So we lay that measuring tape centered. We're 19. So I'm going to wait to tighten this jam nut until it's on the vehicle because the two halves will hold it together. So this one's good. We're going to go ahead and adjust out our rear, which needs to be 20 and three-eighths. They playing with me? They set this thing up perfect right out of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust out the other side while I'm here and we'll go back to the buggy and install it. You will have to have the kit comes with the spacers and we'll show you what spacers go where. So you can see on screen we have two different types of bushings, one with an o-ring and one without. The one without goes on the spindle side, the one with the o-ring goes on the inboard side. So we slide these spacers on each side and the o-ring is going to keep dirt out of this joint we're going to use all of our original hardware so we'll slide that puppy in this side on our original hardware. All right, so I'm assuming I'm gonna reuse the washer and everything, but we're not gonna tighten this down just yet. And there is a brass washer inside there. Well, it might be grade eight. Uh, but uh, we're gonna leave that in there. So now we can put our lower one on, tighten up this side and put our new, the most exciting thing is the 32s. This is all exciting. I'm really pumped. O-ring bushing in there. Oh. This one fit way better. In the proper way. Oh. Now we gotta torque our castle nut down. And also, we can't forget to tighten these up. So I'm gonna slide a wrench on the actual heim joint and use an adjustable right here. Crank them down. Looks like an 18 is gonna fit the heim joint really good. I'm just gonna grab an adjustable for that. That's real nice. I'm excited about that. That looks good. All right, so the torque spec on this axle nut is 134 foot-pounds. And I'm gonna spec it out, but a lot of people just ram them on with the impact, but there's a bearing in there and there's a reason Honda put a spec on it. 
The only thing we gotta do now is make sure we're lined up on our our keyway for our car key. I think I'm gonna over torque it just a hair to get the, I'd rather over torque it than under torque it to get the hole lined up. And we got our key in there. We can bend it over the front and then put our wheel on. So we went with the Super ATV Warriors. These are a directional kind of all-terrain mud tire. Uh, I like, I didn't go with the stickies. I went with the harder compound because of what we ride on. And these wear a little slower. And uh, again, we don't ride in a lot of places where we need the sticky tires. So we went with the System 3 bead lock wheels. We went with 14s, like I said, instead of the 15s because I want a more sidewall. And these have a four plus three offset in the rear and in the front, I went with a six plus one. And that's a round stock in the front and the rear is gonna push us out to be even with the front because factory, the Honda has, I think six plus one all the way around, something around that and the back tire set in a little bit. So again, these are directional. So this is gonna be for the passenger side. Don't look like we have any clearance like i was worried about having a 14 inch wheel would it clear the calipers and stuff and we have plenty of room we have more than an inch back there so everything clear and good over there look like it which it should this is the recommended offset from system three uh, so that's what we went with what they recommended we did torque all these down to 15 foot pounds and we're going to recheck every time we ride for our bead lock uh you know just to make sure everything's good so and now we can go, we're just gonna time lapse the other side and get this thing sitting on the ground. It freaking looks sick already. I am pumped to get those. Those wheels was absolutely ugly to me. I didn't like them a bit. That difference is insane at the lift we got. Like, well, of course we got height of the chassis from the tires, but just the clearance, like it's it's like two inches, inches of clearance. You can see there's no way we would catch that radius arm now unless we just hit a sharp rock. But Lonnie's gonna kind of hold it from bolt to bolt to show you. I mean, look at the difference between those two. It's crazy and the quality, you can't even uh, compare it. This is triple the weight yeah and the axles like i said four mil bigger shafts all chrome ollie this setup is freaking sick i'm in love with it yeah that's crazy get a side shot and you can see from the back and you know this still isn't squatted down like it normally rides but <laughs> look on camera how dorky the front looks <laughs> but it looks sick and that tire's half flat the other one's already on the rim so uh, yeah, I'm super pumped about this. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. These parts made a massive difference on the towel and I can't wait to get it out on the trail. But now we have to address the puny front end. We're doing the, uh, on the next episode, we're gonna be doing the CVs on the front. We got billet uh, tie rods. We got the high clearance A-arms, all types of good parts for this front end to make this the ultimate side-by-side. -side. So massive shout out to Super ATV. Thank you for supporting this build. Hope you guys will support Super ATV. They are the name of the game in ATVs and UTVs. So check the links out down below. We thank you so much for watching. We love you and God bless.